Hi, my name is Sophie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how you can reseal your dreads so you can make nasty little synthetic dreads look like you again. So they are beautiful and tight and doesn't unravel. It doesn't have so much little fly hairs and everything. Here you can see the resealed dreads. They look beautiful, like new, like synthetic dreads should look. <laughs> if you wear them a lot, they can unravel and it doesn't look so nice. So you have to reseal them from time to time. What you will need. A flat iron. Some hair pins or other pins. Scissors. A small hand towel, which shouldn't be really smaller than this one. A big towel. And of course you need dreads, which need to be resealed. First we're gonna wet the hand towel so it's moist but not soaking wet. We're gonna heat our flat iron. I heat mine to 190 degrees Celsius. And I'm gonna pin one of my hair pins to the big towel and attach the dread to the pins. Then we are twisting the dread so they are nice and tight again. Put the red towel over it and put the flat iron over it. So the steam will reheat the dreads and rebond everything. I let the flat iron for 10 to 15 seconds at one place and then I move to another place. Be careful to not use the same towel spot again and again. It will be dried out and you need to re-wet the towel from time to time. I could make like two and a half to three doubles with one round. Then I had to re-wet the towel. And then you have to repeat this process for every dread. Twist them, put the towel over it, put flat iron over it, reseal them with the steam. And then you have to do it again and again and again. If you're at the end, you were to not burn yourself because you have to hold the dread in a twisted form and like, the steam can get really hot. So be careful to not burn yourself. If you're at the end, hold the dread for 10 to 15 seconds so it can cool down in its new retwisted form and look nice again so it doesn't unravel. You need to play a little bit around to find the right temperature. If you make it too hot, just the outside will be sealed and the inside isn't. If you make it not hot enough, it will unflatter again. The flat iron will get a little bit nasty, so just let it cool down and wipe with the wet towel over it and it would be good again. I did this every 5 to 10 dreads so it wouldn't get too nasty. But you should use an older flat iron because it will kind of run off the coating of your flat iron. So you shouldn't use one you're using every day, you should use an older one. And then at the end, when you have resealed all your dreads, you have these little flyaway hairs, which you can easily cut off. It won't unravel when you have tightened your dreads properly. You can cut it all off and they look nice again. I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you like it, I hope I could help you, so please like, comment, subscribe and I see you next time, bye!